Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Tomb Raider Anniversary. I'm Mark and one and I'm making this Let's Play for my one year anniversary uh, of making YouTube Let's Plays. And yeah, <laughs> uh, about this game. Uh, first off, something I want to get off my mind in here is... <coughs> is it, where is it? Display. Uh, you can... Uh, Oh no, it's not with this. Oh, that, oh, that was with Legends. Sorry about that. Uh, with Legends, uh, practically in the sequel to this game. No, oh, no, oh, that would be a remake of Number Two, but that's not. Uh, that hasn't been made yet. Uh, in Tomb Raider Legends, you can switch you know, on uh, next-gen uh, <coughs> physics or graphics. Yeah, graphics. But that completely drops the frame rate. But enough about that. Let's go to the uh, game itself. Uh, manual grab on. That's if you, when you grab onto ledges after jumping. Standard stuff. Now what's a man gotta do to get that sort of attention from you? If that's the sort of attention you want, Larson, you're well on your way. Sounds like fun. But I'm only here to make an introduction. Lara Croft, meet Jacqueline Natla of Natla Technologies. Good afternoon, Miss Croft. My research department has recently turned its focus to the study of ancient artifacts, and I'm led to believe that with the right incentive, you're just the woman to find them for me. I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. Which is precisely why I've come to you, Miss Croft. This is a game you've played before. With your father. You both spent years searching for the Skion of Atlantis. All you needed was the location of Qualopex tomb. You found Vilcabamba. How quickly can you get to Peru? Ah uh, yes, and that's the story. Uh, Laura's searching for the parts of the Skion. That starts off in the mountain. Okay, here we go. Standard movement keys, uh, walking, which isn't really used at all. In the original Tomb Raider games, that walking was very useful because it would allow you to walk to uh, sp deadly spikes or shards of glass. Yeah, oh, uh, jump. Hello, I thought I. Oh, oh, I. <laughs> yeah, stupid of me. Uh, yeah, manual grab is that you do grab manually, my bad. Just keep it off, it's a lot easier and a lot less annoying to play like this. Uh, you can press E repeatedly to uh, go faster. And there we go, jump from ledge to ledge like that. Or just jump back. Yeah, the camera makes some switch uh, changes every now and then. Which may seem like a blur on the recording or don't know exactly how it will come out. This is the first recording I've made. Uh, this is new in the remake, the grappling hook. And it's uh, standard in the modern games now. It allows you to latch on to metallic objects like that ring. And then you can pull it. Well, if it's stationary on the ground, if it's a ring like that, you can swing. Ah, uh, yes. Though I've never really completely played the original uh, Tomb Raider games, I have seen a lot of it because my father is well, he is, I wouldn't really call him a fan, but he has played practically all, all of the lower Croft games, <laughs> even the crappy uh, Angel of Darkness. So uh, don't expect a let's play from that. What I will let's play 
it can be considered a small trilogy in this series. Okay, and with that, we're in the true first level. Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, this seems pretty obvious, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have played this game through, but I don't really remember every single thing. As you can see, you can roll, mostly through dodge traps. We'll see this one a couple of times. Might be wrong, yeah, but... Okay, with combat, uh, Laura starts, or oh, well, practically always has her trusty dual uh, pistols. Uh, I use the right mouse button to a take aim. Uh, you can use the right uh, left mouse button to shoot. If you uh, don't target and still shoot, you'll shoot uh, the nearest target, I believe. But I always aim. Of course, you can see the mouse button, uh, no, not the mouse button, the health bar. Ah, bats. <laughs> yeah, easiest enemy in the game, but it can be annoying. Okay, yeah, can't go up here. Okay, as I said uh, earlier, just before pressing the button and <laughs> accidentally killing the guards. Um, yeah, there I considered. Uh, I consider anniversary. Oh. Anniversary, Legend, uh, and uh, whoop, Underworld uh, to be a small trilogy in the game. Oh. Because things from... <coughs> uh, well, people from Anniversary and uh, Legends appear in that game, in Underworld. So yeah, that's, I, to better understand Underworld, you, it's good to have played uh, Anniversary and uh, legends uh, check this out it's a bit of a trap most people would probably jump off right here well most people aren't really used to uh, uh, Lara Croft games or you know, Tomb Raider games well, it can be considered both uh, I believe some people call it uh, the Lara Croft series others Tomb Raider but I believe Tomb Raider is the most common uh, up there is a relic or uh, no artifacts. Relics are more unique. Uh, there are one. There is one relic for each of these uh, areas, I believe. And that was a small health kit. Health kit. Uh, you can quickly use it with a button. You should sign it to. I got a fee for it. And uh, you, you can carry, a, I believe, an unlimited amount of those. But yeah, you won't find unlimited amounts of them. Yeah, that's how most people would fall into here if they don't immediately jump off the ledge there. Well, pra practically thinking, people who see this bridge would probably just walk over there and not just jump in. That's what I did on the first try, so yeah, I was kind of wrong there. Okay, moving on. Yeah, this one doesn't pull the same trick, but I'm not really sure as to how to get down there. Artifacts on my... Oh, is this? No, that's uh, practically a false for my death. I... Oh, wait a second. A little trick. That doesn't seem to work. <clears throat> yeah, collecting artifacts and relics will unlock uh, bonus materials. Like concept art, character biographies, and the likes. And I... 
didn't need to jump, climb up here. Uh, let me look for a second as to how I to get up. Oh, there's a tunnel over there, so I'm probably be able to reach that s somewhere else. Uh, yeah, artifacts and relics unlock uh, unlockables, <laughs> of course. And uh, relics will also be uh, viewable in the craft manner, which is a, a feature of the game I will uh, play and show. Though I haven't uh, completely figured it out. Com well, I haven't completed it completely. <laughs> so that will be partially blind. Yeah. This I re uh, really recognize from my father playing the game. Uh, you can turn on a rope, low yourself on a rope, uh, climb and turn, and just swing. That over there is a big health kit. I believe it restores... Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, 50 to 70%. Whoa. Uh, yeah, quickly recover. Uh, oh, <laughs> that bear could have killed me. Uh, let me see. This will prob yeah, this will probably lead to that artifact. Yeah, uh, yes. Switches. Uh, y you know the drill if you know adventures. Uh, here we go. The uh, the telltale sound of Laura Crofts finding a secret. They preserve that sound, and I really appreciate that. Okay, moving on, we're back. Yeah, if I fall again, I'm dead, but then I'll respawn at this checkpoint. Uh, which I have to talk, I have something to say about. Those checkpoints are nice, but I really would have preferred the old-fashioned save uh, uh, system with as the old uh, games. I know this game has been made for the consoles, uh, but uh, yeah... If you're going to port a PC, or well, if you're going to make a PC game and remake it for the consoles, then uh, it would be appreciated if you uh, make <laughs> make the controls and such so that's even you know, also good for the you know, PC. Uh, not to say that this game is bad. A lot of people liked it, and uh, among including me, although there it was parts I didn't really like. Uh, yes, I. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the checkpoint system I would have pr preferably seen a safe system, because at times they, and there can be pretty hard areas to go pass through, and if you can die at a particularly irritating point, you'll have to start all over again. Okay, but uh, most of the time they're pretty generous with those uh, safe points. Okay, just roll through here. Yeah, the world doesn't give immunity, so watch out with that. And here's our first puzzle. Uh, oh yes, uh, Laura's journal. Uh, press tab and you go into the inventory. You can have your weapons. Uh, above, if you press above and you go to items, but we don't have any items. Uh, oh no, that's below. Uh, it's above is to uh, 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 puzzles. Uh, Nah, f you'll see. There must be a way to yeah, I won't be using that all too much. Okay. 